hi guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Osera May and in this video I'm going to be making a bomber jacket and I'm going to be using these my lining piece my actual fabric and of course you would need a stretchy um, material and for this I'm using this black scuba so the inspiration for this project was um, this really cute bomber jacket I saw on this kid and I just immediately thought okay I should make something like this for my younger brother I told my mom about it and she gave me some pieces of material and there you go we are making it for him to start off this tutorial I folded my fabric into two I ensured that it was wide enough to um, for his bust measurement which is the bigger part of his body and I measured out the length of the I wanted the jacket to be and I removed two inches from that because um, you know we're going to add a two inch band to the um, end of the jacket that's the black band and what you see me marking now this straight line is the bust measurement and I also added about four inches to his actual measurement because bomber jackets are usually um, big so I need a lot of allowance on it so after that, the next thing I'm going to do, which is what I'm doing right now, is marking out his shoulder measurements. His shoulder is 13 inches, so I just marked half of 13 inches. And after that, I marked two and a half inches from the middle, which is where I want, um, how wide I wanted the neck to be. And I went down by two inches, which was the depth of the neck. And as you can see, I made a curve. This is the back part that we are cutting right now. Now we're going to work on the armhole. So I marked my armhole depth and I'm just going to join it up to the shoulder um, that I marked earlier. And I just made a curve with my free hand. And after making a curve, so I decided to measure out the middle of this um, armhole curve. And after getting the middle, I made a mark there and then I'm reshaping my armhole to go through that um, new curve. So I'm just going to cut out the neck. And after that, I realized I've not um, gotten my shoulder slope. I just went down by one inch on the armhole side and I sloped it from the neck. And basically, I'm just cutting everything out now and you'll notice that i didn't make any shape on the sides of, of this because it's a bubble jacket and i just need it to be free it does not need to have any form of shaping because i even want to have it gathered under with the um, elastic band that i'm going to have on it so right now i'm trying to get the front part of this and i placed the back right on another piece of fabric and i'm just tracing it out and you'll notice that i left about two inches zipper allowance in front of this this is definitely going to be the zipper allowance because zipper is going to be in front of this jacket so we need zipper allowance in front and you know that the back and the front cannot have the exact same neck depth so i went down my neck by an extra one inch to make it a little bit deeper because if i go um in like this it's going to definitely choke start choking him when he wears this jacket is it so much yeah so now I'm just uh, measuring out my armhole um, depth to be able to, so that I'll be able to use the same exact measurement to cut out my sleeve. And for the sleeve, guys, I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did on the body of this jacket. I am going to mark out my sleeve, and the length of the sleeve is going to be marked out with two inch um shorter than what it actually is because i'm going to also have a black band under the sleeve and that black band is going to be two inches long and if i had to do this all again i wouldn't change anything people love me and the fans adore me my superstar so guys i'm also not going to have any form of shape on the sleeve as well i just cutting it out straight because of the gather and the band that i'm going to add on that later so the sleeve is done 
the next thing i went ahead to do was to get the pocket now in the one i got the inspiration where i got my inspiration for this project from there was no pockets but i decided i wanted to add pockets to this so on that side you can see that i measured out six inches and on this other side i'm marking out eight inches long it's eight inches long and six inches wide and i just went up on from the end of it by about four inches and i just marked a slope like this this should be about seven inches long so this is going to be my pocket you're going to see how it will come out by the time i'm done with everything so this is going to be the pocket for the two sides after getting the pocket and after cutting out all the pieces i need the front the back the sleeves and every other thing i just went ahead to trace out everything on my lining piece so guys after all the cutting was done I went ahead to join the front and the back patterns together right sides facing each other and i'm joining them together as you can see with my pins um at the shoulder so i'm just going to go over to my sewing machine and i'm going to stitch it down up here up here and i'm also going to um stitch down my sleeve as well i'm going to stitch the sleeve to both sides and after stitching the sleeve i will also stitch it down on the sides by about one inch and i'll do the exact same thing on the lining pieces so after i've stitched it down and ironed it out this was how everything looked like and i did the exact same thing on the lining piece so i sewed each one separate so guys after all the stitching on the fabric was done i went ahead to cut out this piece of um black scuba fabric that is about one and a half inch wide and what i'm going to do is as you can see me doing is placing it right in the middle of my actual pocket and the lining this is a simple way i do this because it's just a clean way to just get it lined up and really looking very beautiful so um you're going to just place it right on that slant that we made earlier and you're going to pin it down People love me and the fans adore me, my super story. So this is the part I mean. So um, you're just going to go over to the sewing machine after pinning down and you're going to stitch it down here. So guys, this is what it looks like before you turn it to the right side. So when you turn it to the right side, you have it like this all lined up and really, really cute. So um this is like the easiest way you can get this pocket to come out like really cute and this is something i actually taught myself and i absolutely love how it comes out every single time so the next thing i went ahead to do was to uh, place this pocket right on the front part of the jacket because that's where they're going to be and i'm just going to place them right here as you can see and I am going to pin them down. I am pinning it up at this point, that is the upper part of the pocket, and I also pin it down on the side. So after pinning it up at the top and at the side, you're just going to go over to the sewing machine and hold it down all the way around. Guys, it's done for the both pockets, and you can see how cute this is looking already this is really really beautiful i always love how this comes out whenever i do it so um after that now we're going to work on the band for the under part of the jacket so for this i usually measure out for whichever measurement be it an adult or um for a child i usually measure out five inches wide um, of the actual fabric and I just reduce the black stretchy fabric that I will be using I just ensure that it's shorter than the measurements I have on my dress that's the end, down part of the dress so that by the time I join this to the side here and here it's still about five inches short so guys I've added the pieces I just cut out to the sides of this black band and this is what it looks like 
this band if i measure it out is shorter is about five to six inches shorter than the length i have on this part of the jacket that i'm trying to place it in that's because like i said earlier i want to be able to stretch it out so that um it has a little bit of gather at the end so i'm just going to pin this to both ends it's not going to be exactly the same thing it's okay guys it's okay that's exactly what we are looking for we don't want it to have the same length we want the band to be shorter so that by the time you spread it out um it will have a little bit of gather so i'm just going to place the lining piece right side facing each other like this on it and our band is going to be in the middle just the same way we did the pockets earlier so we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch these two together and don't forget to stretch as you're sewing so this is the gather i was talking about so guys while i was stitching i was um stretching it out so that the band is like becomes like an elastic on it so this is what the front looks like and you see why i joined this um lining to it like this because it kind of gives it this look like um something that is reversible so guys the next thing i'm going to have to do is going to be the neck part and for this i have cut out this um, folded piece that is actually four inches wide and i just made this curve at the end of it you're going to see how this curve works very soon so the measurement around his neck is actually 16 inches so i'm measuring out that curve all the way around and what you're going to do is that when you're measuring out your neck don't forget to remove the zipper allowance because that's part of it that is not a part of the neck so guys we're going to open up our fabric again the two pieces again separate them the right sides facing each other again just the same way we did the band we're going to place this um let me call it a collar for the neck and before i start placing it i am going to remove that two inches i marked earlier for zipper allowance i have to ensure that that is away from the both ends so that i know exactly where to place my collar so guys after removing from the both ends you're going to place the tip of your curve so the curve is going to be the part that you're actually sewing so the tip will just end right at that notch that you made for the zipper allowance and after that you're going to just pin down the neck all the way around and go over to the sewing machine and stitch it down i'm sorry i was not really able to share that like very detailed like i would love to my battery was really running down and i was just trying to do things um as fast as i could because you know how it is with creating content in nigeria light is always a very big problem but yeah this was how the neck part looked like so you can see that um right now i'm just wearing the hands lining hands in sleeves into the actual sleeve so this is like the easiest way to make your jacket really neat on the inside because it will look you would not see any of the same um seams this is the way i just hide all the seams in my bomber jacket so i try as much as possible to hide all of them so now you see how the neck looks this right here is a zipper allowance by the time i fix my zip you see that these two will just really go away and you see the how small the neck actually looks so now the next we are going to work on will be on the sleeve so i just went over to my sewing machine and as you can see i just folded the sleeve that's the end of the sleeve that's like this just to make it neat because i cannot do that from the inside anymore so this is what it looks like after i was done so you can see how i join it together and then my two inch band is ready i've already cut it out and iron it in the fold um because i always use like i like it folded so the measurement around my brother's wrist was about six seven inches and what i'm going to do here is to just 
stitch it down here and here with about one inch because this is already like that and you know this fabric is stretchy so just the same way I did the under part like the end of this jacket is the same way I'm going to do the sleeves so that it will have that gathering as well so I've stitched it down and I'm just going to fold it back again because I want it folded so basically just the way you're seeing this right this you see it's stretchy you're going to place it right on one end of your sleeve and you're going to make sure that it's from the back so that it's um, you'll be able to stitch it from the outside and when you turn it over it comes out neatly. so when you stretch it out you see that um, it can actually go round but if you leave it it goes back down so I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and when I'm sewing I'm going to stretch it out So this is what the sleeve looks like after I was done stitching it on the inside and this is what the front looks like guys. How cute is this? And I've already done that for the both sleeves as well. Now the only part of this jacket that is not ready is this zipper which is the front. So I'm just going to go over to the sewing machine and first of all just fold it in, fold the lining and the actual piece together first to make it neat. And after that, I'm just going to add my zipper to the front. And that will basically be all for this jacket, guys. All stitched down, everything is done, everything is ready. Almost see how cute this thing is. I'm very excited about this. I was super, super excited at how beautiful this came out. It's so cute and I love, love, love it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm sorry I was not as detailed as I would really love to be. I was very conscious of my battery and I was just as fast as I could with the video. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And if you find it helpful, please share with friends and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.